Hi everyone, it's Lynn Dion here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I'm going to be using a new uh, stamp company that I've never tried before. It's called Sunny Studio and they just have the most adorable little stamps. And in the next couple of weeks I'm going to be putting out another video using some of their stamps as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's the stamp set from Sunny Studio and we're going to be using all six of those little chicks. We're going to use that sentiment there, Hey Chick, and the Happy Easter. And this is from the Chicky Baby stamp set. Now we're also going to be stamping on the Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth cardstock. And we're going to be using the Spectrum Noir Alcohol Proof Ink die pad as well. And the color is Noir Black. So now I'm going to go ahead and stamp all of these little chicks. And you'll see that I colored them all in except for one. I want to show you how I did the coloring. I'm using the Spectrum Noir Tri Blend marker, so you have a light mid tone and a dark tone on each marker. And I'm using pale pink, gold yellow, orange, and citrus to do my coloring. And again, these have the three colors in one marker. So I'm going to start off with that light pink and put a little bit on that of that on the cheeks. Then I'm going to that orange blend and I'm just going to do the beak. Now for the body, I'm going to be using the citrus and the gold yellow. So I'm going to start with the lightest color of the citrus and I'm going to go all over the little face here. Then I'm going to go to my mid-tone and that's in the middle of the pen. And I'm going to go a little ways down the forehead there and up from the chin just a little bit. Then with the dark, I'm going to go from the top just maybe about a third of the way down here. And then I'm going to that gold yellow because I just thought it needed a little bit more of a shadow here. So I'm using the lightest color from this marker. And I'm going to do the top of his head and a little bit along the chin line there. So now going back to the medium citrus color. I'm going to blend that darker color into that into the medium. Then I'm going to go to the light end of the citrus marker and I'm going to blend everything together here. And going to that gold yellow again just gives me a little bit more of a shadow there. And then I'm going back to that light pink and I'm putting a little bit more on the cheeks. So here on the body, again I'm using the citrus light yellow, then the mid-tone and then the darkest one. And then I'm going to go to that gold yellow and add a little touch of that right up along the chin line and right at the, the uh, base of the wings there. And then I'm going to go back to the mid tone on the citrus and then the lighter tone and blend it all out. And I love that all of these colors are on one marker so it makes it so simple and easy to do your blending. It's really quick. So there you can see up close all of our little chicks all colored in. And again, you get some nice highlighting and shadowing with these uh, particular markers. So now that those are all set, let's go ahead and run these through the die cutting machine. So I'm going to take my dies and I'm going to tape them down with a little bit of purple tape and run those through my Sizzix Sidekick machine. And these dies will leave a little bit of a white border all the way around these images. So I went ahead and ran all of my little chicks through the die cutting machine. Now I'm going back to this set and I'm going to grab that little uh, bow from the basket. So I'm going to stamp this basket. I want two of these. I want one for the inside of the card and one for the front of the card. So I just need that bow. So I'm going to ink that up and stamp this two times. So now that we have those stamped, we're going to go ahead and color those in. So I'm going back to my Tri Blend marker in the Aqua Blue Blend. And again, I'm going to start with my lightest color. And you want to saturate it pretty well with the light color. And then I'm going to go to the mid-tone and come out from that bow just a little bit, maybe about halfway, three quarters of the way. And then that darker color right along the center of the bow there. I'm going back to the mid just to blend that a little bit better. And then the light color all over. And I did this for the entire bow. 
Now on the center part of the bow, I just kind of went around the two sides, the left and right there on that center circle. And then I just kind of blended that out towards the center so the center would stay the lightest. And then for the ribbon part of the bow, I'm keeping that shadow right up underneath there. And then I'm blending that out. So I did the same thing for the other side here. And again, with these tri-blend markers, I just got another set. I got the dark blends. Um, that's a new set that's currently available. And it gives you more colors in the series. And um, I will try to show you that in a future video. I just didn't have time to include it in this one. But uh, it, it really complements the first set really well. And again, I love these because you can just travel with them. Um, they're easy to, to take with you because you don't need a lot of markers. And uh, I think they do a really great job of blending, but I don't own the uh, Copic markers. So uh, for me, this is the set that I have and I find that they work quite well. So I went ahead and cut those two ribbons out and I cut right up to the black line. And then I'm gonna use my uh, Nouveau adhesive to uh, attach these together. And this is the glue pen, and this just has a chisel tip on the end of it here. And you can see that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just attach these bows to some white paper, because I did wanna create that little white border around these bows. And because they were part of that basket, I wasn't able to die cut them out. So I'm going to go ahead and just make it match up with the little chicks so that the bows have that little white border around them just like the chicks do. So this just takes a second or two here to cut all the way around those. So now I'm going to use my Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen. And this is just a clear sparkly pen. And I'm going to go all over these bows and add that little bit of shimmer to these. And I don't know if you can see that there, but you get a little bit of a sparkle there. So now for cardstock, I'm using the Hero Hughes Premium Cardstock in Paradise. And these are 100 pound cardstocks and the Arctic. So I'm going to use that darker color to make my card. And the card measures four and three quarters by nine and a half. And then I'm going to score that at four and three quarters. So that's going to give us a square card. That's four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I'm just pressing that down with my bone folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut that Arctic cardstock four and a half by four and a half. And that's going to fit right on top of our card. And you can see that there. So now for this lighter color cardstock, I'm going to go ahead and die cut a circle out of that. Now I want a second circle that's about a quarter of an inch big, bigger than the circle that I select. And I'll show you here that this circle, I'm gonna put it on my glass mat so you can see it. It's about three and not quite three and a half inches wide. And then you'll wanna pick your second circle again that's about a quarter inch bigger than that one. So I'm gonna center it on this cardstock and I'm taping it down with a little bit of purple tape. And I'm going to run that through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. So now with that circle cut out, and you can see that there, I'm going to take that same circle and that larger one, that's a, again about a quarter of an inch larger, and I'm placing it on my Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock. And I'm going to die cut two of these. Now I want to carefully center these. So I get a nice even frame all the way around and I'm going to secure these really well with four pieces of the purple tape because I want to leave these on here so I can cut a second frame that's the exact same size as this first one. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through the die cutting machine. And then without removing that tape or separating the dies, I'm going to just take that frame out. And we're going to keep that. That's for our card. 
This center one we can just set aside for now. We don't need that and we don't need that the rest of that paper either. So now with this attached just as it was before, I'm going to go ahead and tape it to the second piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock and run that through my die cutting machine. And that's going to give us two frames that are exactly the same. I want to, because I'm going to layer these up, I'm going back to my Nuvo uh, glue, chisel glue tip pen, and I'm going to go ahead and just run that glue all the way around and attach these two together. And this glue is nice because it's not thick at all. It's very thin, almost like a translucent kind of a glue. It dries clear, pretty much goes on just like a pale light blue color. And you're not going to have any problems with it seeping out or anything when you attach these together. So now with the Sunny Studio, lots of dots embossing folder, and this is great. It's a square six by six embossing folder. I'm going to place that panel with the circle cut out right in the center here, just making sure it's lined up nice and straight. And then using my Spellbinders Platin Platinum 6 machine, I'm going to grab my embossing plate, which is this purpley blue plate, and I'm going to use my uh, base, then the embossing folder with the cardstock in it, and then th this embossing plate to make my sandwich, and I'm going to run that through. And that's going to give us these beautiful little dots on the cardstock. Now you can see how the card's going to go together, but I want something behind those dots there. So I want to kind of know where that circle is. So I'm tucking a few little pencil lines up underneath the circle here. You could just trace the circle, but then you have to erase the lines later. And I didn't want to be bothered with that. So I'm just putting a couple little tick marks underneath there and then using my Distress Oxide in the Abandoned Coral, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of ink and I want to keep the center part of this card very light. So I'm just going to work in from the edges towards the center and I'm using my Picket Fence Studio brush to do this. And this is going to give us a, a nice soft touch here. So again, I don't want to apply too much ink. I just want to kind of get the excess ink off at the edges here and then work my way in towards the center. And I'm going to leave that center part actually a little bit white. So now going back to my aqua shimmer pen, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of that glitter down onto my glass mat. And I'm not sure if you can see that there. But I'm just squeezing a little bit of that sparkle onto my glass mat. I'm spritzing it with a little bit of water. And then I'm going to take a small, tiny little paintbrush here. And I'm going to just spatter this cardstock just a little bit. It'll give us some little tiny spatters and also a little bit of glitter at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and heat set that just to make sure I don't smudge it and I'm going to let that com get completely dry. So now you can see that it's got a little bit of spatter there and a little bit of sparkle. So now I want to figure out where my little chicks are going to go. So I need just five of them for the front. So I'm going to set one of those aside for the inside of the card. And I'm going to just kind of place these so they're kind of peering out of this little circle. Just kind of spacing them apart here. And again, they all have little different expressions and some are facing different ways than others. So just kind of arrange them the way that you like them the best. Just going to switch these two here. And then I'm going back to my Nuvo glue pen and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down at the bottom here on the feet. And you can see that those feet don't show. So again, that's why we didn't need to color those in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and attach these. I'm just basically tacking them into place until I'm ready to assemble the card here. And to release additional glue from this pen, you just press down, um, just press it down and it'll release a little bit of glue. 
So if it gets dry, that's all you need to do to get it started again. So now I have all the little chicks tacked into place. So I'm placing that frame and the background on my Misty Stamp Positioner. And then I'm gonna grab a sentiment from this set. And you can see that you have a lot of cute little sentiments here, but I'm gonna take the one that says, Hey Chick. I'm centering it on my cardstock here, and I'm gonna pick up those stamps. And then I can go ahead and remove that frame and do my stamping. I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp this. And I'm just wiping a little excess ink off the, the lid of the Misty there that I got, a little smudge there. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink that up a second time and stamp it again. So now I can go ahead and attach this frame. I'm using my score tape. This is the one quarter inch score tape. I'm going to place tape all around all four sides and then a little bit on each of those chicks as well. Then I'm going to remove the backing from all the tape and I'm going to go ahead and attach this to my card. And I'm just basically centering it right over that hay chick. And then you can go ahead and take some scotch foam mounting tape. And I'm pretty frugal with my foam mounting tape, so I'm just going to cut this into little sections, little squares, and just place it all over the back here. And then I'm just going to remove the backing from all the tape, and I'm going to center it on my card. And as long as you have enough of that tape, it'll be fine when it goes to the mail. It won't collapse or anything. So now that frame is going to go over the center there, but I wanted to decorate it a little bit. So I'm using my Pitt Artist Pen from Faber-Castell, and this is the 0.1 millimeter. This is a black permanent pen, and I'm going to create a faux stitching all the way around this circle. And you know that I love to do the faux stitching, and I like to do it freehand. I would feel like the, the more random it is, the more... I don't know, handmade it looks, and I like that. And then I like to add a few little hash marks every so often. So now that that's all set, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my Nouveau glue pen, and I'm just going to add glue all around the back of that and attach it to my card. Now, in retrospect, I would have used a little heavier glue here. I would use the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive if you have it here because it is kind of sitting up on top of those dots. So the uh, deluxe adhesive, I think, would be a little bit better choice here. So now I'm going to use my Scotch foam mounting tape, and I'm just putting it on the bottom, just the little tails on the bow. And then I'm going to put uh, the glue right on the top of the bow there. Because that's going to be sitting on our frame, which is already a double thickness. So it should lie pretty flush once we get this attached. So now I want to decorate the inside of the card. So I'm going back to this stamp set and I'm going to grab the Happy Easter and I'm just using that leftover circle that we had when we cut out that frame earlier. Now you could just stamp on this circle if you wanted to and attach that to the center of your card. But I thought I'd do a little bit more on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. And I ended up stamping this three times because it is such a thick stamp. It did take uh, a few stampings till I got it completely covered. So again, I stamped that three times. And then what I'm going to do is take my scissors and just cut all the way around this. First, I'm going to heat set it. And then I'm going to trim around it and leave a little white border all the way around. So now that that's all set, I'm going back to the Abandoned Coral ink, 
I'm going to leave the center of the white in the white or the lightest and I'm just going to go right around the edges. So I'm just kind of dabbing off the brush on my glass media mat, just removing a little ink and then bringing it up onto the cardstock. This will just create a little bit of a frame all the way around the sentiment. So you can see that there. So now these are the three elements for the inside of the card. I'm going to go ahead and attach this little chick. I want him to look like he's kind of popping out from behind the sentiment. So I'm going to add a little glue there down at the bottom. And I kind of wanted one of his little wings to be in front of that, the letter H there. So I'm just kind of like putting that in front. And then I'm going to add the bow to the end of the sentiment here. Now turning it over, I'm just going to add some uh, glue all over the back of this. And then I'm going to attach it to the inside of the card. And I'm just centering that. Now on the front, I wanted to add some Hero Hues enamel dots. And these, I'm going to grab that yellow color there. And this set is called Sunset. And you get these beautiful orangey yellow colors. And again, I will list all of these products down below at the bottom here and also on my blog. Now I'm using my Jelly Roll white gel pen and I'm going to add some highlights. And I thought this sentiment was a little dark. So I'm going over it with some white from the gel pen and I'm just adding some little lines in there. Just some lines and little dots just to lighten that up and give it a little bit more dimension. I thought it just looked a little too flat. So you can see that there up close. And then I'm adding a few little dots to the cheeks of my, uh, the chicks, and then a few little highlights to the bow as well. And then for the little chicks on the front, again, I'm adding the little dots to their cheeks and then a little highlight on each of them, just along the tops of their heads. And again, you can add these highlights wherever you want. Don't be fussy about it. It just adds a cute little element. And again to the bow here. And then I decided to add a little white to those letters on the front of the card as well. So I just add a little highlighting there, just like we did on the inside of the card. So now you can see this card up close. I just think these little chicks are just adorable. They just have a lot of possibilities. Don't just think Easter. They're great for birthdays if you added some balloons or a cake. I mean, they could be for anything. Then we have a little sparkle on that bow. So I just think this is a fun card, really easy to do. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. And I hope you're all staying safe and healthy during this time. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.